games or video games? Which would you rather spend time doing? Let me guess. You said video games. That's because we've invented a way to read your mind over the internet. Okay, we haven't really created a device to read your mind over the internet. But we've got something that's really cool. A game that allows students to do both simultaneously. That is, math problems and video games. And in a way, we even do a bit of mind reading, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, before you roll your eyes, we don't mean like math video games. First of all, our game doesn't have ducks. And if it did, they wouldn't be wearing hats. And if we did have ducks, we'd let you shoot them with a bow and arrow. Spirit Lake is a game set in a virtual world that combines adventure gaming with math learning. We make math practical, useful. You want to save your entire village from an illness? You better go get the right number of herbs and bring them back. And bring your lance with you, just in case you need to fight off that bear. See how we just slip some math skills in there? That's why Spirit Lake is so successful among students. We've developed a game that students actually want to play. Not only do they want to play it, but they're learning math from it. Our studies have shown that the math scores of students who play Spirit Lake for one hour twice a week improve several times faster than average. And that's what's really important to us. Yes, it's great to have a cool math game that students want to play, but one that actually brings underperforming students up to the academic level you're supposed to be, that's the kind of thing that can literally revolutionize the way that math is taught. And while Spirit Lake is available to any individual or school that wants to purchase a license, our focus is on serving Native American communities. If they don't get it the first or second time, that doesn't mean they can't get it. Now here's where the mind reading part we talked about earlier comes in. As students play the game, the game is actually able to identify the concepts students are struggling with and adapts the problems students get to focus on those specific areas. Cool, right? Here's where an extra 20,000 will take us. We'll get animation for six more levels. Yes, our animators actually agreed to that. We'll write a manual and documentation. And we'll be able to cover some expenses for game design. And if we exceed our 20,000 mark, we'll do this. The class gonna be gone. We whack a fella. It's high the weather. It's better. You know me. And then we'll get back to the game and we'll do this. We'll expand more levels for earlier and later grades. Right now, we're at grades four and five. And it will allow us to purchase computers for some of the schools that can't afford them. If you were ever a kid that hated math, and wished you could play computer games instead of do your math homework, this is a project you want to support. Or if you were like me and you were a kid that really liked math and still wanted to play computer games instead of do your math homework, this is a project you want to support. Hey, watch that.